Hi everybody, Michelle Geomatics here today with a demonstration of ArcMap's projection on the fly and specifically how it deals with data of different datums or geographic coordinate systems as well as different projections and how it works with data that have no projection defined for them. So I have a blank map document here and if I go into my data frame properties you'll see that no coordinate system has been set. This is default behavior. I just opened a new blank map document and what I could do is choose from among my favorites or from among the library that ArcMap has of different projections. And if I set one here, it would in fact define the coordinate system of the data frame and any layers that I add in would have to project on the fly to that coordinate system. If I don't set one, as I am not doing here, then I will define the coordinate system of the data frame when I add my first piece of data. Before we do that though, let's take a look at the data I'll be working with. In our catalog, you can see I have a world countries shapefile. I'm working with several shapefiles here. And let's take a look at the properties and I'll just go to the coordinate system tab and I see that there's a geographic coordinate system set for WGS 1984. Another piece of data I'll be working with are the states and you see the outline of the outline of the United States. Again, I'll go into its properties, look at the coordinate system tab, and I see here that a projection is set. It's called World Gull Stereographic and that is built upon the WGS84 geographic coordinate system. So these two have the same geographic coordinates, but one has a projection where the other piece of data had no projection. We'll also be working with Spain. If I look at its properties, I see again a different projection, World Eckhart 2. If I scroll down, I see that it is also built upon the WGS84 datum. I will be working with lakes. I have a lakes feature class or shapefile for the entire world. Let's take a look at its coordinate system properties. Here I have a different geographic coordinate system. It's WGS 1972 with no projection set. And then finally, I want to show you this Arizona counties shape file. Let's look at its properties. And you see that there is no coordinate system defined here. It's a shape file that's missing its projection file. So we have a nice spectrum of different situations going on here. Let's see how this works now inside of ArcMap. I'll use the catalog window here to work with the same data and I'll first add this world countries shapefile. And ArcMap has no problem loading it. If I look at the data frame properties, I see that now the data frame coordinate system is set to WGS84, the same as this piece of data. That's the behavior of ArcMap. It adopts the data frame the data frame adopts the coordinate system of the first piece of data that you add, unless you've gone in and manually set it. Okay, no problem. Let's add our second piece of data, which was the states. So we'll add that one. And again, ArcMap adds it with no problem. Not that one, but the data frame properties again. And see what's going on with the coordinate system. And the coordinate system of the data frame is still set to WGS84. Now I can come in here to my layers and see the different coordinate systems I'm dealing with for my layers. So the world countries has WGS84. My states has a projection set on top of that. No problem. Okay, next we're going to add Spain, which has the same geographic coordinate system and a different projection. And again, ArcMap adds it and aligns it in its proper geolocation. Let's look at the data frame properties again. Go to the coordinate system tab and I see that nothing has changed down below with the coordinate system. And if I look at the layers, I see that I have three things going on. All right, now we're going to add the lakes. Remember, this one has a different geographic coordinate system. When I add it, I get a geographic coordinate systems warning. It's telling me that, hey, this piece of data that you're trying to add, the lakes two, has a different geographic coordinate system, a different datum than what the data frame has set. So ArcMap's saying, I want to be able to line this up properly, but um, I might need some help. 
So the datums that I'm dealing with here are WGS72 and WGS84. I could come into the transformations and select the appropriate one that defines the, uh, the transformation from WGS72 to WGS84. It looks like there's just two of them, but without knowing which one to choose, I might choose the wrong one. So for here, I'm just going to say OK um, and accept my fate. And I see that the, the lakes have, in fact, lined up. Let's give those a different color so they stand out a little bit better. Um, and at this scale, it's hard to tell if there's any misalignment issues. So that's something I would want to research. What is the correct datum transformation to use for my project going between WGS72 datum and WGS84? All right, now let's add this Arizona counties shape file. Remember, it's missing its coordinate system information. So when I add it to the map, I get a different warning, the unknown spatial reference warning. It says the following data source is missing its spatial reference. So ArcMap says, I'll do my best, but I'm not sure where to put this. So I added the data. I should see it line up over here in Arizona. Let's change its color to something that will really stand out like how about a nice red color and I don't see it anywhere except for over here in Europe where it's absolutely not supposed to be so let's zoom into this layer and I see that it's severely misaligned so there's something really wrong with this Arizona County's shapefile it's in a coordinate system that's different than WGS 84 lat long it's in some other coordinate system, and it will require some research on my part to figure out what is the correct coordinate system. Once I've identified the correct coordinate system, I would use the Define Projection Geoprocessing tool to associate the correct projection with the shapefile so ArcMap has the information it needs to align these data properly. For more information on how to work with coordinate systems, I encourage you to check out our online training video called Working with Coordinate Systems in GIS and GPS. You'll find it at the URL you see on the screen now. All right, that's, that completes this demo. This is Michelle Geomatic saying bye for now.